guys welcome to my channel so uh, today i'm going to work on one more automation video and as you can see on my screen that i have a comment on one of my uh, video notepad automation and here uh, the person is asking can we print something from notepad by printer so uh, i don't have a printer installed at my home so i don't um, know how to show you but uh, i know the steps uh, that we used to follow uh, when we used to print from notepad it's not like we uh, print from notepad now uh, we don't so uh, i will try to uh, follow through those steps using python and i won't be able to print but i can guide you like what code uh, you have to write with python so that you can actually do the print thing so before we work on that if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel let please do there is an easy and uh, like quick process that you just have to hit the subscribe button i see that uh, a, a, there are a lot of viewers who are just watching the video and not subscribing so uh, i would tell you like this um, that it doesn't give me any money as of now uh, it is just uh, to keep me motivate uh, motivated enough so that i can make more videos like this and help you guys so uh, let's not talk more and let's work on this so I have the code ready with me. Uh, so this is the code that I wrote and test um, that if it is working fine or not. And it is working fine. So now I won't be running this code and ending the video like that. I would write this down from scratch and then I will explain step by step like what we have to do and why I have done that. So let me remove this. Okay, so I have removed everything and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my favorite module so uh, from to today onwards i'm going to uh, increase the font a bit i don't know if you guys were able to see it or not but i think if uh, in case there was any kind of difficulty this can ease ease things up right so um, anyways so uh, i'm going to use pive and auto here so uh, this is one of my favorite module for some obvious reasons that it provides uh, some great functionality methods function whatever you can say so through which uh, I have already tried with a lot of application and I have already posted a lot of videos even notepad automation part video was made through this module so uh, if you don't know about this module uh, first you just have to install it using pip install command you can directly google this and there will be a lot of result to help you out in case you are getting any kind of error so here uh, what we are going to use is so this is a module for windows GUI application automation so here uh, what we are going to use is from pywin auto there is application uh, from there we have to import application now uh, they both um, looks very similar but they are not so um, after so why we did that is just uh, so that the reference part would be easier for us otherwise we would have to do application dot application which would be a little different uh, not different rather difficult so here we just have to create uh, an instance uh, like we used to in any OOP language so here uh, we just have to notify what backend it is uh, so it is going to be UIA so now uh, it needs to know which application you want to have an instance for so here uh, I'm going to use start method where I'll just provide the exe file so if the application is of a Microsoft one uh, it can directly recognize this through system 32 folder otherwise you you have to provide the entire location of the exe file so here uh, I don't have to bother about anything else I just have to do this so now um, I have the instance ready so till now I haven't done anything I have just started the notepad so if I run this it will look like I'm waiting for it yeah so it is just going to open a simple notepad window that's it right so uh, what I have to do is I have to print so let's say I open a notepad window so what we have to follow through we first have to click on file we then have to click on print then there is a new child window where we have to click on print 
if the printer that you have uh, set by default is already being selected here in that case you just have to hit print and that's it I cannot uh, like show you any further step because I don't have a printer with me so uh, that will be really impossible for me but I know these steps and you might know about that too so in that case I know these steps that I have to follow so what I will do is first I just have to select the window which gets popped up when we start this notepad.exe application so the name is untitled notepad now how do I know so uh, there is this method print control identifiers so let's try this I I forgot to print it so let me close Okay, I'm getting an error in the GUI element or not. print control identifiers. Okay, so this was my bad. Uh, this is application, and we have to choose uh, the application. And then only we can do print control identifiers. That is why it, it is not working. But there is one another way through which I can show you. So if you open any Notepad. Uh, you see this title bar so this is the name uh, for the application or you can try to have um, let's say 80 90 percent match of the title being displayed here so let's say if I do just notepad then also Pywin auto is going to recognize that okay we are trying to find or use this pop-up right so it knows about that so for now I'm just going to use uh, untitled notepad and remember I am not using any hyphen in between which was there so it doesn't matter like I said it does the best match so now here we have menu select method so this method will help us to select the menu like I showed you uh, file and then print right so here uh, I will use that so first we have to go through the order so we cannot directly do print and then file we have to go through order first we have to select the menu file and then we have to click on print right so this is what we have to do so in this case I'll just show you what is going to happen so here you can see that it clicked on file and then it clicked on print so first step is done now we just have to click on print if you have set your printer as default then you don't have to worry about anything we just have to click on this print so now I have to get this window so the title for this window is print but now I will show you uh, how you can find that name so here I will just do app dot untitled notepad dot print let's print this okay oh, for some reason this is way too slow so um, it is going to print out each and everything because there are a lot of things on our parent window so you can uh, do this edit and then you can click on find you can directly do control F so here uh, I know uh, the child window is print so I'll just print or um, like type print so here you can see dialog so that is what we call it dialog so here you see that these are the names that we can use we can use print we can use print 1 print 0 print dialog or dialog 2 any name that we want again uh, when you try to do some kind of automation you have to provide a name which signifies that okay this is the window that we are opening through name so if I do dialog 2 it will be really hard for a developer to know that which dialog are we trying to open here so that's why if you use print dialog it will be more easier so that's what I'm going to do so I can close this and this also 
so here I know that I have to use app dot print dialog right so now here uh, in this window what do we have to do is we just have to click on a button so we have a button print button so now how do I know again we can use this so let's run this okay so this is the name of the button print and this is the result that we got okay again too much information so again I will do the same thing I will click on find but this time I don't have to stop at dialog I will stop at button so it will keep searching so here it is list item so no we don't need. so here if you see this list item is containing all the printers available or all the options available on your print option so that's how you can select those also in case you don't have your printer as default and now uh, select printer here you can see that group box and this is the child window child sorry checkbox and here we have the button find printer and we don't have to use this see here we go so this is the button print and these three are the names that we can use so again I'm going to use print button just for uh, more readability so here uh, we have to click on this print so uh, I'll comment this line again So here what I will do is app dot I have to refer through the hierarchy that's the only way so now we have the button now what, what we have to do is we have to click on this button so to click on any button there is this one method click so through this you will be able to print but unfortunately for me I cannot so if I run this now so you can see that by default I don't have a printer I have um, a utility to print to PDF so that is what it is trying to do so it is asking me to save it to a location so I can easily do that too uh, so I can show you that because I cannot print so yeah let's do something more so here uh, let me first show you another step that I may forgot to explain so when we click on print here uh, so when we again uh, select this by so it is selected by default and then we click on print so it pops up a new window so this window name is save print output as and then we have to provide a file name so this added box we have to edit and then we have to click on save so now we have to do more steps so I'll go step by step what we have to do is first we have to figure out the name of the window right so what I will do is I'll do print dialog and here I will again do print or I could have uncommented this stupid me okay so let's run this again it doesn't matter uh, when we are going to print those controls because it will print the same thing so let's wait for it okay uh, so at least this part is done let's cancel this okay okay so now uh, we knew um, the name of so it was save output something something like that no it was not so let's try save and let's go to top first okay so it's not here
okay yeah the order does matters sorry about that so after clicking on this we have to so uh, through print dialog uh, when we click on print button then only we are seeing that window right so then only we can uh, see those controls <laughs> okay yeah sorry about that okay i clicked on cancel way too soon again uh, we have this dialog now so these are the names that we can use so if you have spaces in between you can either do underscore or you have this square bracket option through which you can refer or um, this would be your easier option right so we can uh, try to you know use a lot of things uh, just for reference because uh, any option can be helpful in the future so now i have to um, use this uh, dialog and then what do i have to do is i have to add it right so uh, again i don't have to do print dialog i just have to do dialog 3 so here uh, to add it i have to use this square bracket thing so then we have to have uh, we have to know a uh, few properties so here um, pybin auto comes with a documentation and there you can see all this information um, like i knew about this because i went through the documentation so here you see uh, option so when say file name so this is the name uh, which we get displayed so let's open notepad again so when you click on print you can see that this is the name that we want to add it so exactly we have to use it so in case you don't want to use underscore this is the way that we use it now to add it we just have to let uh, pyvin auto know like this so this is the property that i was talking about we want it to be edited so that's why i use this now then there's this method of function set text here we just have to provide uh, where did we go okay it went on responding okay that's great okay so here i can do demo so it is going to use the desktop which is my default location and it is going to save there so again it is pdf so i don't have to do dot pdf right that's obvious thing now i have to click on save uh, button so now uh, either i can do print control identifiers again or i can do this right you can try uh, in case you want to know more okay so now let's run this because this is the code that we wanted to do now it's all done so it should click on print it should type something here okay demo and it has to click on save okay so now let's see if it has saved yep so you can see that this doesn't have any data but but it's saved right so this is the entire code that i wanted to show and you can let me know in case you have any query on the comment section or there are uh, my social media handles on my channels art that banner art uh, there you can contact me or uh, oh yeah, yeah that is it uh, this is it for this video and i hope that we will meet in the next one till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye